Kids who can't read by the end of fourth grade are four times more likely to never graduate from high school, which then diminishes their opportunity for a bright future, but increases the probability that they'll stay in poverty for the rest of their lives. AARP Foundation Experience Corps is working to change all that for these kids. We're recruiting older adults 50 plus to work with these children to give them a much brighter future. Our kids are getting about 60% more literacy skills. They're reducing their misbehavior by 50% and they're increasing their attendance by 25%. On top of that, our older adult volunteers are experiencing wonderful results too. They're experiencing increases and improvements mentally and physically, and in fact, the causes of dementia are actually reduced by their volunteer efforts. At AARP Foundation, we work every day to help older adults who live in poverty. We believe that it's never too late to change the future. And through Experience Corps, we believe that it's never too soon to make a positive difference in the lives of young people. We are so excited to be part of the first annual Brennan's Health Foundation Golf Tournament here at Pelican Hill, and it will launch Experience Corps in Orange County. Here in Orange County, more than half of our kindergartners are not on track, and Experience Corps can change that. The need is great. Join Experience Corps and Parentis Health Foundation in changing the lives of old and young alike here in Orange County. Come join us for this amazing journey. Well, you just saw that piece uh, from Parentis Health about the Parentis Foundation and the Experience Corps Orange County, how they work with AARP in helping uh, kids, particularly in reading, and how they connect seniors with kids to mentor and tutor them. I'd like to welcome today a couple folks from Parentis Foundation, uh, Janice Franchette Ardinger, mm -hmm. right? And also Karen Bance. Welcome, Thank both you. of you. Thank nice you. to have you here today. Uh, Janice, tell me about uh, Parentis Foundation and how you partnered up with AARP and also the, um, the way that you have kind of partnered up, I guess the best, that's the best way to describe it, right. seniors with these kids who are uh, either English is their second language or just for some other reason they're having difficulty learning to read. So thank you. <coughs> we, um, as Parentis Health senior, agent, senior Care Company, we look to provide a opportunity for retired adults mm -hmm. to get back into the community right. in a meaningful way. So in doing so, we partnered with AARP Foundation and they had a program called Experience Corps. Mm -hmm. Experience Corps takes older adults who are looking to volunteer and pairs them with young children in, that are struggling to read, mm -hmm. kindergarten through third grade. And we pair the adult tutors with these children and after school youth organizations like Boys and Girls Clubs, and they work with the kids one on one for an entire school year. Wow. So not only do they help the children learn to read, they create a meaningful bond yeah. with the kids. So, how do you find these kids? Is it through the Boys and Girls Clubs? So, this last year, the Boys and Girls Clubs um, identify the children that they already work with on a day to day basis. Okay. And there's also sending schools that provide that. that the kids come from that make recommendations if the child is sometimes two years behind in reading okay. up to a half a year behind and we take them into our program. Okay and I saw at least on that piece there the Boys and Girls Club of, of San Juan uh, do you work with certain school districts like Capo or Saddleback Unified or? Actually both of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah. we have sending schools that um, provide bring the kids to the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, for example, at Saddleback, San Joaquin Elementary School sure. is, is one of the schools okay. that we take the majority of our children from, and over 85% of those children are not reading at grade level. Yeah. So we really become an adjunct to the school system and help them as an intervention program. Very good. Now, Karen, how did you get involved with this? Are you one of the volunteers, or are I you on their board? I have a great story. Uh, Janice and I have been on the board of directors for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Capistrano Valley several years, and that's how we know each other. She became aware early 2016 of the reading program, mm -hmm. and she 
thought of me immediately because she also chairs our gala and I'm in charge of uh, picking up silent auction items. Okay. Most people don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she <laughs> was wise enough that she thought I would be a good uh, recruitment, volunteer recruitment specialist since I have a sales background of 25 years. And it's the best gig I've ever had. I'm enjoying <laughs> it so much. Uh, not only wa watching the kids with the interact and bond with the tutors, but I'm in charge of recruiting older adults, mm -hmm. which is what I am too. And I'm enjoying it a lot. And last year I was proud that we had 50 tutors, including substitutes. Wow. So and that's one of the reasons you're on here today, because there are folks that are going to be watching right now that think, you know what, this is something that I'd like to do. And I, I guess one of the questions I would have is, do they need to have a teaching background or just the desire to They to do not need a teaching credential. We have uh, all walks of life. Okay. And we have uh, CPAs and okay. engineers and sales reps of medical devices. And one very interesting lady is a, uh, a writer, a professional writer. Oh, okay. And she's uh, sold a lot of books and on a lot of best-selling lists. Yeah. Now, she reached a point where she had to get out of her cave, as she says. <laughs> and she's an introvert and would spend, if she didn't have anything to do, she'd spend every day parked in front of her computer. Yeah. So she felt that health-wise, she had to get out. And she read about our program and she joined us and we're so glad she did and she's returning. Very good. Uh -huh. Now, Janice, how do you match folks up? Is that, you know, you kind of want to match personalities maybe? How do you go about that? It's, you know, it's, an, it's, a, it's amazing the way it just sort of evolves when we recruit the volunteers. We put them through 25 hours of pre-service training. Okay. And they train on our 30-minute reading session. Mm -hmm. It's very structured and volunteers love that. They love to know that, that it's a predictable right. experience yeah. every time they work with the kids. So when we, when we have our children and we're pairing them with the tutors, their relationship evolves. So we don't mm -hmm. necessarily pair a personality with okay. a child's personality because in life you don't get that scripted mm -hmm. experience. So we really want them to evolve and have that experience on their own. Um, but because of the oversight we have with them throughout the school year, we help to mentor our mentor tutors through the times they have with the kids. So the, their experiences together sort of evolve. Now, Karen, some of these uh, kids are, English is their second language. So does that mean you need to find folks that also speak their first language? Or could Our be... kids are, uh, English is their primary okay. uh, language and at home okay. it could be Spanish. Okay, uh -huh. so they are already, English is already for them. Yes. They're prim okay, uh -huh. but they're still, just having difficulty. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. They don't have that mentoring at home. Okay. Because mm -hmm. their families don't necessarily speak English. So right. This is their opportunity to read aloud and speak English with their tutor. Uh, and, and how so. often is it? Once a week or? It's twice a week is oh, a wow. time commitment and five to six hours a week. Okay. It's a big commitment. It is a big commitment. Once yeah. the uh, tutors to be go through our information session, which is a mm -hmm. slide presentation, telling you everything about our program they realize this is what they want to do and they will find the time. And they, I just love to see the tutors come in uh, into the education room to pick up their files and they're smiling and they go back to the education room to return the files and they're smiling. It's just been a great, great session for them. And really. you're down in San Juan? We have a As location. far as the, um, you know, when you're training, that's what our, our trainings, um, we will have a training in Costa Mesa this okay. fall at the Balearic Center. We will also have a training up in Rancho Santa Margarita at one of our other sites for the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. And um, we do various interview sessions here. Um, could be in Laguna Hills at my main office, at the Prentice Health Office. Okay. But um, we, we, try to, we try to regionalize it where our volunteers are. All right, very good. And if people want more information, it's easy, Parentis Health, Parentis Parentis Foundation. Foundation. Uh, dot uh, org so they can go there it's right there on the screen and uh, I want to thank you both for coming thank on so and uh, thank, thank Prentice Health for, for this program and AARP and everyone else involved because it, it changes both lives it does it's a win-win combination yeah. for both populations it is uh -huh. thank you very much okay. I thank appreciate you. it and again folks just go to ParentisFoundation.org you can get more information 
you want to find out how you can become a tutor, you get that information there and uh, then you can find a way to uh, do one of their training sessions and, and see if it's right for you. We'll Thank be right you back. So much. Sure. Thank you. Samantha and I'm eight years old and I have my littering program two times a week. It's helping me read more fluently. My teacher says please pay attention by your tutoring. I think that's helping way better. She's making up the words as she goes along and to make it say what she wants it to say. The Experience Core program is based on concept of pairing older adults with young children in a mentor and literacy role. When we look at the children and we assess who's, who is, um, would benefit from the program, we also look at the children who spend most of their days speaking in their native language and it's usually not English. My mom gave me her Spanish book. She says, Ya te voy a poner para leer en inglés. Por si no te prendes, te voy a dar con la chancleta, sí. As they start, they're tutors, and it, that's the relationship. But I found it amazing how rapidly that tutoring became mentoring. The conversations that they exchange, you can tell the bonding is tremendous. She makes me laugh, <laughs> and she tells me stories. And then I, yep, I have to figure out which part of the story is real. <laughs> I like how you are. Okay. We, we currently serve about 30,000 children in the United States, kindergarten through third grade, and we, pro we have about approximately 2,200 volunteers. For our older adult population, them back engaged in the community. Uh, I'm a writer. I'm an introvert by nature. I always knew that I would have to force myself to go out of the house to remember how to socialize, because otherwise I could sit in front of the computer all day long and be perfectly happy. You can't be solo. <laughs> I can't be solo. No, well, I have a husband, but that's... <laughs> but you can't be trapped I, in your room. No, I can't. You can't. You're exactly right. Staying in your own cave all day long is not healthy. It's not good for anybody.